this video will show you the different solutions available for designing a bed with polyboard, we'll see that it's capable of going much further than just designing cabinetry. We're not going to work with a cabinet in the standard way, instead we'll convert it into a work area for our bed. We've set up a free shape cabinet here, the shape represents the top view. Once completed, select all segments and define them as fronts, which means they won't interfere with the design and deactivate the top and bottom, the overall dimensions will be modified later. We are now going to create the headboard and the footboard. To do this, add a double back at zero millimetres from the back, and then a new double back at zero millimetres from the front. We will then be able to edit the structure. Here we will use a sub-method that has been predefined specifically for this design. Once applied, open up the assembly window and remove the bottom crossbar and panel. This is done by changing their material to a kneel panel in each case. Now we'll position the intermediate crossbar at 150 millimeters from the bottom and click OK. After that we will modify the top central panel. We will add two crossbars at 90 degrees, so aligned top to bottom. Then remove all the other crossbars by applying a nil material to each as before. Click OK, and now to lower the top of the footboard, we will create a recess from the top. Note that all we need to do now with the completed footboard is copy it and paste it across to the headboard. To create the side of the bed, we'll first add a nil shelf at 150 millimeters from the bottom, and then a second nil shelf at 150 millimeters from the previous one. These two shells will then allow us to define the height of the bed rails. Now position two double backs of the crossbar type at two millimetres from the right first, and then do the same at a crossbar on the left. We can now resize the bed with standard dimensions by selecting the inner area between the two crossbars in this case to a width of 1,400 millimetres and a depth of 2,000. Finally, with the bed sides, we'll apply a real material, MDF in this case, then move on to the design of the base. This will be created by positioning a panel without any fitting links. We'll choose a shelf with no hardware panel type. We'll then divide this panel using the thickness split feature that splits the panel into two. We're now going to apply two assembly type structures that we created and saved earlier in the structures library. The first one creates the crossbars on the lower panel. And then the second structure for the upper panel creates the battens. And that's our bed finished. As usual, Polyboard manages design to manufacturing very well. But in addition, and thanks to the flexible use of structures and sub-methods, the design possibilities are extremely varied and go way beyond standard cabinetry. Thanks very much for watching.